Hi there. Today I wanted to talk about something quite simple but very useful. It's a great guide and it's got to do with time. An easy way to change the tenses or times in English. And students sometimes find this difficult. How do I go from the past to now? How do I go from the past to the future? Or even the future back to the past? What do I do in the grammar to make this easy? Unfortunately, there is a very easy way of doing it. And to do it, we need to use four words to start with. And, but, so, and because. These words are called conjunctions in grammar, but it just means they're like a connecting word. They connect two ideas. So let's look at a couple of sentences to help you understand this. Sentence number one, yesterday I bought food, so today I won't buy more food. Pretty obvious. Yesterday was the past, now today is present time. So we went from the past to today using so. Let's have a look at another example. Number two, I have a holiday today, but tomorrow I will go to work. So present tense is now or today in this case, and future tense is tomorrow. How do we change smoothly from today's time to tomorrow's time? We can use the word but. This is a very simple thing that some students really have troubles with when to change the time. And you can use this for any time, from the past to the future, or the future back to, the, to, back to now or back to the past. It's all fine. And, but, so, because. Use these words, any words that do this job of joining. When you want to change the tense, when you want to change the time in an English sentence. So I hope that really helps you because some students really have trouble with this. It's very easy using these four words and words like them. Okay, for now, catch you later.